Oh my god, they should totally make a sequel. It's been like three years. I know, that's kind of what I was thinking, but you know, was, maybe it's a stupid idea because, I mean, it's been like three years. Maybe they've forgotten about the film already. Yeah, maybe it is stupid. It's getting late though, I should head home soon. You're right. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow then. I'll, I'll shoot you a text. Oh, I forgot my phone in the college. I should probably go get that. Have a good night, Michael. Whoever is still here, come out. This isn't funny anymore. Ah! Oh my God, Tracy! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Tracy. Oh. Oh. Where is it? Where is it? Oh. Wait. Oh. Tracy. Tracy. Are you okay? Tracy. Crap, I gotta pick up Glenn. Hey bro, um, I'm calling just to let you know I'm going to be hanging out with uh, Glenn later tonight. Uh, do you want to join us? I would love to, but I'm afraid I'm going to be a little bit busy tonight. Uh, where are you and Glenn going to be hanging out? Uh, most likely my place. You sure you don't want to come over? It's been a while since we've hung out as brothers. All right, man. Well, shoot yourself. I'll see you later, then. All right. Bye. Hey, Glenn. Um, do you want to hang out at my place later tonight? All right, sounds good. I'll see you then, man.
so I'm going up the water slide ladder, right? And I'm like, you know what? Let me check out the options. Let me scope out the scenery. Let me see what's let me see what's cracking, as I would like to say. Right. You know. And so you know, I'm looking out. I'm looking out. Next thing I know, I'm face first, and then I look up, old man. So you know, obviously you know how that goes. Seriously. Yeah. It 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 was. It wasn't where I wanted to be. I will say about a 7 out of 10, you know, but that's neither here nor there. And so I keep going, keep going, get to the top of the water slide, look down, and then I see this specific one in the crowd that I'm like, yo, it's not about being slick. I'm trying, I'm trying to fuck. Yeah, so, you know, pretty wild time. But anyways, where, where's your brother been, dude? Is he's, has he just been, like, really busy with a lot of things? Like... That's what I assume, at least, you know? Like, where, where's he been? Nah, I, I guess he's occupied with some other things, but... Have you noticed he's been so busy lately? Like, what's up with him? Yeah, it's like, I can't even spend time with him anymore, but I won't disturb whatever he's doing, you know? I... No, you know what is disturbing? We got no beer. Can you be a homie and, like, grab me some? Like, now? It's pretty late, man. Just do it, man. Since we're hanging out tonight, you know I'm going to bring a beer. All right. Well, fine. I, I'm not going to get a lot, though. Just stay here. All right, man? Damn, Jake, you're, you're back with the booze already? Is that... Is that Luke? No way. What the hell, bro? What happened to you, Luke? Why are you doing this? Ah! Hey, Glenn. Um... I'm coming back with the beer, so... Jake! Jake! Thank goodness, dude. Someone here is in the house trying to attack me. Get home, quick! What are you talking about? Glenn? Hello? Damn it. Glenn. 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 Come on, Glenn. This isn't funny. Glenn. Oh my God. Glenn, are you in here? Join us! Join us! Join us! Join us! Come on! Join us! Join us!
is your emergency? Officer, oh my gosh. Please, please don't hang up, please. Look, what I'm about to tell you isn't a hoax. It's, I've seen it with my two eyes. I... Sir, sir, calm down. Take a breath and tell me what's happening. All right, so, someone attacked my friend last night. I wasn't home. I tried looking for him. I guess, I guess he panicked and eventually attacked me. But I didn't know what to do. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I had a bit of an accident. I don't know what to do. This is certainly an interesting story. Uh, where is your friend now? Is he still injured? He's, he's here in my apartment. I'm looking at him right now. Um, but unfortunately, he's not with us anymore. I see. Is there anything on the body like wounds that may have caused his death? Well, like I said before, he tried attacking me, and I didn't know what to do, so I... I stabbed him, okay? I, I tried defending myself. I, I was scared. I didn't know what to do. Again, sir, calm down. Take a look at the body and tell me about any wounds on it, or anything like that. Well, I think I stabbed him in the heart. Oh, he does have a suspicious mark on his neck, though. I... It wasn't for me, though. A by mark? On the neck? Was your friend, uh, different when he attacked you? I mean... I guess. Ah, I see. This makes sense now. He was acting a little bit odd when he attacked me. He was chanting something weird, but I can't remember. It was all so faint. Well, perhaps maybe I can help you. You... You can? Why, of course, old chum. Now do you and I a favor and look into your back right pocket. How is this going to help me with anything? <laughs> that guy's name on the card can definitely help you in a situation like this. That's his job, so to speak. I'm sure he won't let you down. Can't you just send cops to my location? Like, why do I have to rely on this guy? I don't even know how to contact him. Godspeed, Mr. Spillington. Hello, is anybody on the line? I'm looking to speak with an Egon Creed. Speaking. Mr. Creed, uh, my name is Jake Spillington. I've heard that you are good at handling these kind of situations that I'm in right now. Um, I don't know where to start. My friend was hurt when I got home. He attacked me. Um, I don't know. I got home last night. My friend attacked me. And he, he wasn't the same. He was really different. I know this sounds crazy, but I think he was a vampire. I saw two bites on his neck. I, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. I, I know. Long story short, I had to stop him from attacking me, so I, I killed him. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Well, I was hoping you could help me find the one who killed my friend. Look, I'm sorry about all that's happened with your situation, but I have other things to worry about. I'm sorry. Wait, no, no, please don't hang up, please don't hang up. No, please, I... Hello? Damn it! Wine, like, 
Org. Screw it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the West Woos Radio. I am your host, Ethan O'Neill. And today, I would like to talk about a more sorrowful, but also strange story today. A few days ago, a young woman by the name Tracy was murdered near a college. The police say she died due to the loss of blood around her neck. They also say her neck consists of two holes like a bite mark. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but that sounds like a vampire would do, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> or is it just me? I guess time will tell. Wait, wait, Mr. Creed. I'm, I'm, I was the guy you were talking to on the phone the other day. The, I was talking about the whole vampire thing and my friend. Please, Mr. Creed, I just need a moment of your time. Please. Don't touch anything. How'd you find me? It doesn't matter. So, what exactly do you want? Well, I need your help finding the one who killed my friend. I. I think he might be a vampire. Is that so? Why should I help you? It says on this card that you like a monster hunter or something. What? Why not just start making business cards? I mean, the information on it's not wrong, but it's ain't mine, kid. Plus, you got the wrong guy to help you on this one. Mr. Creed, I'm begging you. I, I have nowhere else to turn to. I really need your help. First off, do not call me Mr. Just call me Egon. Second, don't even rely on me. I'm a nobody. If you want someone to help you, then just call the police. I already tried that. There was no luck. So let me give you some advice, kid. First off, just run away. Whatever you got yourself into, just run. If whatever you're telling me is true, then the damage is done. Don't try to undo it. Think about revenge. Look, I'm sorry for your friend, but going after the killer, that's suicide. You're only gonna get yourself killed. 
Don't be a hero. So my advice to you is just walk away. Heal up your wounds and move on. That's all we could do nowadays. I thought you dealed with this kind of stuff. Monsters, what would be wrong with a vampire? I thought you'd help me with this. What makes you think I want to do this? Yeah, I slay monsters. I don't enjoy doing it. Yet you come in here uninvited on my day off, requesting some vampire bullshit that I gotta slay? I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, I should just move on, huh? Maybe you don't know what it's like to lose a friend, someone close to you. I don't need a coward's help anyways. If it isn't the scrawny hero, Egon Greed, come to slay another monster for the poor, sulking gentleman outside. I knew that eventually you'd give in to this little charade that I set up. Yes, sir, it was me, the beloved Yundo, who reached out to poor old Jake Spillington and recommended the infamous monster slayer, Pandeo Creed. I knew you very well to not let this opportunity pass. Just remember that you are destined to do this. Forever. Mr. Creed, I, I mean Egon. Look, I thought about what you said. Long story short, I changed my mind. I thought about it. I shouldn't let this, what is it, vampire be on the loose with some possible chance of affecting the world with some, I don't know, vampire virus bullshit. So, I mean, last thing we want is a vampire apocalypse, right? Egon, whatever you change your mind, I promise you won't regret it. You're doing me and so many other people a favor. Don't get too excited, kid. This is no joke. I mean, if we really are dealing with a real vampire, then we gotta remain cautious and prepared. Why so serious? I, I, you've dealt with these kind of monsters before, right? Why, why would this one be any different? You don't get it, kid. All the monsters that I've faced, they got some sort of crazy ability or some shit. But by the end of the day, I'm just some guy. So. Let's get in the car. We'll discuss it there. Really, nunchucks? I don't think you know anything about vampires, do you? Hey, I'm not the one who brought the turkey cutter with me, bro. It might be some turkey cutter in your eyes, but that thing has slaughtered more monsters than you could count. Well, besides the nunchucks, I brought myself a knife, just in case if that helps. <laughs> Barely any help. But don't worry, kid. I did my research. I got everything we need in the bag back there. Alright, alright. Well, as long as we're prepared. S 
So, Egon, can I ask you a personal question? What is it? So, uh, um, how did you lose, how did you lose your eye? <sighs> I knew you'd eventually ask that. Well, I didn't lose it like a badass would or anything like that. Basically, I lost my eye when I first started this whole monster thing. I was young, I was stupid, and careless. Still am too. Just without the young part nowadays. Oh, really? I, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sure your first monster was probably a bit of a challenge, huh? I guess you could say that. It was my first time doing something like this, so I was scared as hell. Yeah, I'm actually pretty scared right now just thinking about hunting this thing. I guess for you, this is a pretty big moment in your life, huh? But for me, it's just another Tuesday. So, where are we going? Do you have a lead on this guy or anything? Not really, no, I, but I'm pretty sure we can find something soon. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You brought me along to help you with this vampire, and you're telling me you don't, you don't even have a lead? Okay, well, to be honest, I was honestly thought you were going to come up with something. Are you joking with me right now? I got all prepared for this monster hunting thing with some kid I just met on my day off, and you don't even have a lead. Hey, calm down, calm down. I, you do deal with this on a daily basis, right? I mean, shouldn't you be okay hunting these crazies? No! I am not an investigator or anything. I'm like, what's the word? Exterminator. You point at where I want to kill, and I'll kill the bastard. Look, I, I didn't know. I, look, I'm pretty sure we'll find a lead soon, all right? I'm not satisfied with pretty sure. I want a definite answer. Ah, yes. Aren't we at a good start? Is this the lead that we're talking about? Don't, don't freak out. I'll handle this, all right? License for registration, please. Sir, do you know how fast you were going? Not fast enough. <laughs> so we got a joke stereo, do we? I'm sorry, officer. I was I speeding? My brake light out? What's, what's the problem? You son of a bitch! Whoa, whoa, Egon, chill out. Do you want us both to get arrested? That fucker is no cop. He's the one that dragged me into this mess. Oh, Egon, my boy. You know the consequences if you were to harm me, remember? Well, if you can. <laughs> Plus, I didn't come to mock this time. I only came to help. For now. I sense that you two are having trouble finding your lucky vampire. Hmm? Um, something like that. Don't trust this guy, Jake. This asshole's a two-bit snake. Anything that comes out of his mouth is a lie. That hurts, One-Eyed Willie. This time, I only bring treats, no tricks. Because by the end of the day, we both have something we want. We do? Yes, sir, that blood-sucking cunt you're going after, I want him dead too. He's certainly no threat to me or the warden, but I believe if he sticks around long enough, he can become a potential threat to both me and the warden. Ah, uh, so that's why you want me to do this in the first place. Correct, Mr. Cyclops. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Creed, but unfortunately you do not have that day off. Consider this another work day. So how will you help us? Well, I can give you the exact location of the vampire you're looking for, for the right price. But we don't have much money, like, 
we honestly don't have much to give. Who said anything about money? No. Only something simple you can do for me. And what's that? Break one of Egon Creed's fingers and I can tell you exactly where your vampire friend is at. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous, Jake. We, we, could, we could figure this out on our own. Wait, wait. I, I think we're onto something here. But one broken finger shouldn't be too bad, okay? If you lay a hand on me, consider my help for you done. Look, Egon, I'm sorry. To Look, just don't. that guy anyways that was Yundu it's kind of hard to explain who he is but don't worry about it guess a story for another time yeah save it okay. we're here So how should we approach? Together. None of that splitting up bullshit. Well, that's one way to play. Bring that black bag, Spillington. Spillington. Shit. Oh, crap. He gone. I could have swore he was right next to me. Legendary Egon Greed. It will be an honor to take your life. Oh, God, your breath stinks. Egon, where are you? Hello, Jake Spillington. It's nice to finally see you, Jake. Luke, is that you? I have evolved. I plan to show you that evolution as well. You're... You're the vampire? What happened to you? I'm afraid your brother Luke is dead. I am what remains. You can't... 
killed my friend, Luke. You call that evolving? His body is a perfect vessel for my mission. And what mission is that? This world will evolve like my current state now. And I will be starting. to become something more like me. <sighs> By the nine hells, get that away. Jake, there's a Bible in this bag. Hurry and use it. Which part should I read? Just read the damn thing, anything. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me, Lord. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, it's working. The Lord is faithful and he will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. Jake, I have an idea. So is that it? I, uh, I guess so. I gotta go outside and get some fresh air or something real quick. You all right, kid? I, I can't believe that we just killed my brother. I want to be honest with you, kid. That vampire we just killed, I don't think that's your brother at all. I faced a lot of freaks during the years, and I know a monster when I see one. Even if that's true, my brother's dead nonetheless. And whatever possessed my brother, friend's dead too. We ended the vampire in there, but there was so much damage done. It's, it's like we won, but, but at what cost? Remember when you are at my apartment and you you're asking for my help and uh, I was telling you to move on, walk away? My point still stands. I lost my mother years ago, Jake. I was really depressed about it and was willing to do anything 
to get her back, or at least see her one last time. But because of my stupidity, trying to do anything after her passing, I got tangled up in all this never-ending hunt of all these damn monsters. And now I can't escape it. But I learned not to let my mother's death tear me down. I learned to move on. But that doesn't mean I forgot about her or anything. It just helped me grow stronger. This sweater. My mom sent me this before she passed. I wear it with pride so I don't forget about her. So what I'm saying, Jake, don't let your brother and friend's death tear you down. Just remember the good memories and take it on with you as you move on, okay? I suppose you're right. I'll take some time to remember your words. Thanks, Igor. Well, I guess this is it, Jake. Don't really need me anymore, so I guess I'll be off. Egon, will I ever see you again? I don't know. I guess we'll see. I'll catch you later, Spillington. Echolocation. <laughs> <laughs>